it's not a breakaway mug. No. How are Candy you? glass. Yeah. Oh, what's up? We're back. We're in the Double Midnight Studios. We're back. Is this recording? I think so. Oh! Oh, gosh. Good morning, everyone. We're back on Tuesday. Bobby Brady at the Spelling Bee. Mm hmm yeah. Peter Brady. Bobby Brady. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, it's Tuesday. It's going to be an awesome week. Um, huge new releases this week. It basically comes down to Marvel versus DC. A couple, big, couple books out. Big guns, fighting out with a bunch of awesome stuff that goes along with it. So, yep. Yeah. They battle, mm -hmm. and you get the benefits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this big, big October is continuing. Been waiting for this big showdown week uh, ever since I realized that Uncanny Avengers and Batman 13 were going to be on the same day. Mm -hmm. It's going to be sweet. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about right, it. Let's talk about it. All right, Uncanny Avengers. It's awesome. Okay, read it last week. Um, what? Oh, I didn't well, know if we were going to do oh, a versus, no. a head to head. Oh, I'll, I'll do this one. Yeah. Can. Okay. Uh, Uncanny Avengers. Read it last week. Uh, if you like Remender's uh, X Force, you will love it. If you like John Cassidy's artwork, like myself, you will love it. And uh, it's a nice mix of the X Men and the Avengers. Uh, the beginning with. Uh, Wolverine and the uh, eulogy for Xavier, very touching, mm -hmm. very well done. Enjoy it, and then expect a lot of action and just crazy scenes. And uh, no, this is not the artwork for the main series. This is the baby variant cover. I love all the Scotty Young baby variants. I'm gonna be getting them all for myself. Nice, because I love them. So that's uh, the Red She Hulk baby variant this week. Well, and the the answer to that Marvel mm -hmm. bigness is some DC bigness. Look at that. I don't even, I'm just gonna not even say anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'll go like this. The Joker's back. The Joker is back, and he's in the hands of Mr. Scott Snyder, Mr. Greg Capullo. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm just so excited to see what they do with the Joker. Because mm -hmm. you know what they did when they just created mm -hmm. bad guys? Now they got their hands on the Joker, and I, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. And you can also get Batgirl this week, too. Also has a die cut. She's got a die cut flip mask cover, too. I don't like I'm going to do, do the that. rest of the DM cast with the face. I don't like when you do that. All right, what's your next book? No, I don't like ah, that. Ah! There we go. All right. All right, well, I'm going to... Yeah, back yeah. Back and forth yeah, I like yeah, this. Yeah. Uh, Walking Dead, the Michonne special. Um, For those uh, of you who haven't read it. <laughs> yeah. It uh, reprints uh, some stuff from Walking Dead 19, her first appearance, plus the... Uh, the origin story from the Playboy issue earlier. Tried to get my hands on that, but I was like, you know, my wife was like, you're not getting it for a comic. I I'm am. reading it for the I articles. Don't care about the naked ladies. I want to read Michonne's origin. Now I can read it. Yep. Because my wife was like, nope. Nope. You go. MacGyver. Again, I, of all my stuff, I don't even need to say anything. Mm -hmm. Zlot off. Yeah. David? Is it David? David, yes. The creator, the creator of MacGyver. Do some MacGyver who, would, who would you expect to do a MacGyver comic book? It's the creator, so you know he's not going to be like off the beaten path. This is like going to be a solid I MacGyver would like story. To know if MacGyver had that comic, what could he do with it? Oh, he could kill us. The staples. We would die. Yeah, yeah. cuz he's got this yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus he could like origami stuff. Yeah. MacGyver and and throw it yeah. the staples. Throw an origami. Yeah. Uh, one of my next picks, Team 7. Number one, the uh, Zero Issue was out last month. Uh, Justin Jordan is now going to be the writer of Deathstroke. So I'm looking forward to that as well. It's got an awesome Doug Monkey cover on the front. When I met! No, you did not. not. I did actually not. did meet Justin Jordan. Oh, I thought you were going to say Doug Monkey. No. You did not. The man's at Powerhouse. Monkey! Yeah, F you up. He's a big dude. Is he a big dude? A big dude. I didn't mean Wait, to yes. Didn't mean to say your last name with a funny sound to it then. Mm -hmm. There you go. What's up next? What do you have? Marvel Universe versus the Avengers. This is continuing, continuing, mm -hmm. continuously, continuing the Jonathan Mayberry take on what if the world was overrun by uh, horrific zombie-like, yes. but with intelligence, almost crossed without the cross, uh, Marvel characters uh, with a group. Well, this is the first time it's a group. It's been uh, Punisher and then Wolverine. So it's their take on uh, what would the his take on what would the Avengers do mm -hmm. if they were the last ones standing against all the other Marvel universe. Mm -hmm. um, super cool, super fun, um, very well written because again, Jonathan Mayberry is awesome. And uh, uh, my next pick of the week: creator-owned heroes from Image Comics. Uh, each month, you're getting a couple of short stories, you're getting some behind-the-scenes uh, picks and uh, interviews, all for the low price. 
it's about three ninety nine. All right, and it's well worth it. It's kind of like part magazine, uh, part how to. You've got some. Uh, you've got a Dave Johnson cover here. A lot of great talent working on this from uh, Jimmy Palmiotti, Justin Gray, and uh, Steve Niles. The spearhead in that, and uh, they're awesome. I like it. My next pick is a trade. Sager. This is it. Mm -hmm. I just don't, this is how I review things now. Mm -hmm. I don't even say anything. I just, just got, say it. I don't say anything. Uh, for those of you who didn't get in on it, which I don't know if we, we must tell the world about Saga. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you did not listen to us, are we out of number one? Uh, we've got some. We've got some. Okay. You gotta ask. Because we put it off the shelf. Yeah. Because people are like, I'm gonna take 11 I'm gonna take and put them on eBay. Because they're going on eBay for no, 1750. No, we want you to read it. Yeah. Um, so this is this is the trade. It's just it's so good. It's just a completely original. Sci it's kind of like a sci-fi Romeo and Juliet meets Star Wars meets Lost meets mm -hmm. yeah. just craziness. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, we're gonna lose the back and forth effect right here because I got to do two more books. All right, do them uh, quick because I got I'm not stuff. Enough love to, to Valiant stuff. The Valiant stuff has been really really strong. Uh, from EXO to Archer Armstrong, Archer and Armstrong is really Harbinger. Cool. Uh, Bloodshot's been really awesome. So if you're not checking out the Valiant Universe, what is your problem? Check it out. Really good stuff. And speaking of stuff, stuff of, of legend. legend, stuff of legend, one of our favorite books, uh, the latest miniseries is out today. Uh, we love those guys. And uh, if you're if you're on the interwebs, which you are right now, uh, check out uh, Chow Paul's Chow Paul Wilson's uh, Marvel slash or superhero Winnie the Pooh mashups because mm -hmm. they're awesome. He does a fantastic job with those. So. There you go. He-Man, he Tumblers. Yep. It's a set of four. He-Man, mm -hmm. She-Ra, Beast-Man, and Skeletron. When you drink it, you really yeah. have to drink it. I have the power and then drink it. And, and you, you hold it up it. and you drink it. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have a Red Hulk statue. Red Hulk, such a gimmick in the beginning. Ah, now there's a Red Hulk. It's a nice statue. It's a nice statue. He's an awesome character. Say what you will. Again, oh, we're making a Red Hulk now, but no, he is an absolutely awesome character, and uh, boy, was he, he did a lot in Avengers vs. X-Men. Yep. Uh, he had a great fight with Domino. Mm -hmm. Check that out in last week's uh, versus number six. My last section is what's in the box. What's in this box? I'm not going to tell you, but if you're a Walking Dead fan, you're not even going to believe what's in this box. Mm -hmm. I almost forgot this. If you, guys, if you guys like free stuff, tomorrow's the day to show up. Because we've got Scotty Young Baby, Lithograph. You can get that free with Uncanny Avengers. Marvel Now poster. Marvel Now previews of the upcoming books. We've got an Arrow special comic that you can check out. Uh, it's going to have uh, a little bit of everything. Get you up to speed on tomorrow night's uh, Arrow premiere on the WBCW. <laughs> B -B -W the same. Yeah. C W B. Yeah. We got all kinds of freebies and the then B W C. There you go. That's my wrestling. <laughs> That's my wrestling organization. And uh, also tomorrow, if you buy Uncanny Avengers, you can save twenty percent on all Marvel before stuff. So that means comics and trades. So you buy a three ninety nine comic, you can go crazy. Getting all kinds of catch up on uh, Avengers versus X Men. Mm -hmm. You know, get some classic Spider Man. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Yeah. So you can buy it anyway. Yeah. Do it. Take advantage Do of it. us. Oh, we like Ooh. it. Yucky. So anyway, that's it. You got anything else? Got yeah, nothing. No. So check us out on the uh, the Facebook and the Twitters because there's so much going on. Did you say check us out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 check us out. Check us out. Check us out. I'll see you guys later. Check us out.